I will show you how to use RSJ's next generation label printing system to create your first label. You could create a completely new design or use one of our pre-supplied templates to create a new label design. Use one of them. When the label studio opens, it shows the tool chip on the right and the editing area on the left. Let's move the tool chips to the side. Now we see the complete area, it's just one label. Let's make a sample run to see how that label would look like. Input the parameters, and here we go. If we want to modify the label, let's go to the barcode field, for example, press the left mouse button and resize the barcode field. So that's some space left. I try it again. See, it shrinked the barcode. Now let's insert the price field. Let's give it a default value of 99 cents. Save the dynamic data and save its price. Let's give it a real big size. Now we can move the field with the left mouse button pressed where we want to have it and then resize it again. So let's run it again. And we see we've got a price field. To modify some other attributes of our field, double click on it and for example select the price from it and change the size of the send value. Close it and run it again. Modify the price. Here we get it, 199. If we are finished with a label, we do simply save the design. Now we need to associate our session with one of our accounts. Let's use a Google account for that. Now we will need to log in with Google. And after that, we'll have to grant the RSJ LPSNG the right to access our account. And here we have it saved our design. Now we can use that design at a later point in time and simply run it. Well, that concludes our first presentation.